How's it going guys? It is 1.49 a.m. 1st of March. Here in Japan, we have a passable question for neuro slash psych for steps one and two, nearly identical question. Shows up one of the neuro forms for 2CK. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, Melman underscore medical, MHL man underscore medical links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. Four year old man brought to emergency 20 minutes after several episodes of staring and blinking. He has type 2 diabetes mellitus and bipolar disorder. Current medications are metformin, glyburide, bupropion, and lithium. Two weeks ago, he started taking terbinafine for onychomycosis. This means nail bed fungal infection. Vitals are within normal limits. Neurologic exam shows no abnormalities. Which of the following is the most likely explanation for the patient's symptoms? Let's just whip to the answer choices. Choice A, Adam Stokes attack, wrong fucking answer. When students don't know an answer, they choose weird sounding shit. This shows up once on one of the 2CK pediatrics forms. You need to know this is going to be a kid who has an idiopathic arrhythmia disorder that causes transient hypoxia to the brainstem that precipitates a seizure-like episode, but it's not an actual seizure. EEG shows no abnormalities. Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, adverse effect of lithium, wrong fucking answer. So obviously high yield, you know the side effects of lithium, not relevant in this case. So lithium can cause tremor, very important can cause thyroiditis, hyper or hypothyroidism, but US simile tends to assess the hypothyroidism. It can cause nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. It can cause Epstein anomaly as a teratogen if uh, taken while patient is pregnant. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, catatonic episode, wrong answer. So uh, obviously you could be aware catatonia tends to be a patient who is frozen, quote unquote, okay, mute, uh, can be part of schizophrenia. In terms of my observation across NBME questions, pretty much non-existent relevance, okay, just standard, you could be aware of this for the sake of psych, but for US simile, not really relevant in terms of how it applies to questions. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, rapid cycling bipolar disorder, wrong fucking answer. So this just refers to four or more manic slash hypomanic or depressive episodes within a year in a patient who has bipolar disorder. Okay, so people obviously will differ in terms of their cycling for how many uh, up and down phases they have for their bipolar, one or two. But for uh, rapid cycling, this is an incorrect answer choice on the NBME question that I was referring to when I started this clip. So finally, correct answer, seizure activity. It's past level. You need to know bupropion causes seizures. Okay. Now, this lowers the seizure threshold. It must be avoided in any patient who has electrolyte disturbances, eating disorders, okay, bulimia, anorexia. Sounds like this patient is having an absence seizure most likely. And for whatever fucking reason, terbinafine can decrease the metabolism of bupropion. Okay, so I looked into this on Google, typed in terbinafine, bupropion, did a bunch of reading on it. There's no specific P450 interaction. Terbinafine is not specifically a P450 inhibitor. Okay, I mean, I, I read up on it. But what I did find, as I just said, it can decrease the metabolism of bupropion. All right. So even if you didn't know that factoid, it doesn't matter. Okay. I mean, the, the guy is clearly having some sort of seizure here and he's on bupropion. It's not a typical drug that they mention in US simile vignettes. So that should just jump out at you as something uh, you should be aware of. Glyburide can cause hypoglycemia. Okay. That would present as diaphoresis, tachycardia, tremulousness. Metformin can cause lactic acidosis. Okay. So it'd give you a low serum bicarbonate. You're going to avoid this in patients who have a high creatinine, okay? So avoid in uh, renal dysfunction. So uh, that's it for this question. Uh, not typical that I make psych questions, uh, boring subject, but I gotta check out the box on these things. You know the deal, I'm to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time, that's it.